In this video, we will talk about orthographic drawing. We will use this figure as our example and in the first angle method. Say for example, this is our observer. Now in orthographic drawing, we always refer to our observer, where he is at, and to which direction he is looking in our figure. First thing I do is to make the x and the y axis. So I'm drawing lines here, horizontal and vertical lines. And then next will be the mitre line or the projection line. So that will be 45 degrees from the intersection going to our fourth quadrant using our triangle. The next thing I will do is I will put spaces in our horizontal and vertical axis. I will measure one centimeter space up and under our horizontal lines. And I will do the same with our vertical line. One centimeter to the left and one centimeter to the right. Now we will start with our front view. To start our front view, you should determine first the width of our figure. In this example, we have 60 millimeters. So I'll mark my 60 millimeters there and draw a light line from that point going up. This will determine the width of our figure or our front view. Now from this point going up, I will measure 20 millimeters so that would be three times total of 60 millimeters and next is I will draw again a light line horizontal light line going to the left from my 60 millimeter mark Now we already establish our width and our height. Now from the corner, I want to measure 20 millimeters from zero. And then another 20. making it 40 millimeters. Now I'll make another light lines here and as well with our next point. Now 
And the next view that we will have will be the top view. In the first angle projection or method, top view is directly under the front view. Again, we are referring to our sample figure there. So from this corner up to this, we will measure 24 millimeters. That will be 24 millimeters. I'll mark my point here at zero. And then another 24 millimeters from that point. And then lastly, another 24 millimeters at the lowest part of our top view. There you go. Now, from this point, again, we will draw light lines from this point to the left with the help of our T-square. Same thing we will do with the points that we had for and also with this point. Now with the help of our triangle, all we have to do is to project that line from our front view going down to our top view. Now we already have our top view. Now the next thing we will do is our left side view. To determine our left side view, all we have to do is to project all the horizontal lines from our front view going to the right. Again, project all the horizontal lines from our front view to our first or quadrant. Now, next is the horizontal lines going to our mitre line or projection line. Again, that is 45 degree line from the intersection of our X and Y axis. Project all the horizontal lines to our mitre line. And from our mitre line going up to our first quadrant. Again, with the help of our triangle, from our mitre line going up. Now we have our left side view. All we have to do is 
make some visible lines in our left side view. With the help of our T-square, all we have to do is trace all those horizontal lines Next, with the help of our triangle, Now we have our three main views. Now I will fast forward this video now to make visible lines and dimensions in our drawing. Now we have things to consider or rules to consider in putting the dimensions and annotations. You can check out our other videos to understand these rules in putting the dimensions. We are almost done. Now you can erase all the unnecessary pencil lines in your drawing. And that's it. And I hope you guys learned and enjoyed our video for today. For more videos like this, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video to your friends, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.